for 2023, I want to share with you five trends that I've distilled down that you must know about. Let's go ahead and jump into the first trend right now. Cost optimization. A lot of your conversations are going to deal with cost optimization, especially in 2023. Customers are going to be very concerned about cost. So what is cost optimization? Simply put, cost optimization means whatever resources you're running in your AWS account are resources that you actually use. Your servers are right sized. When you're not running things, you decommission those resources and the supply and demand of your cloud resources matches that to address the services that your customers use. So the first thing you need to do is to control your cloud cost. A lot of people move to the cloud because they have hopes and dreams that it will be cheaper. And many, many times it is. But in order to realize those cost optimized benefits, you first have to control your cloud cost. You can't have all these people just going into your AWS account, spinning up things left and right. You have to put some guardrails around your cost and thus control them. There's tons of different things you can do. Won't go into all those in the video here now, but you have to control your cost to begin with and eliminate people spinning up everything. The second thing you need to do in terms of cost optimization is optimize your spend. There's several things you can do there. You need to make sure that whatever resources you're spending up, they are right sized, meaning that you're not over provisioning resources and that your resources meet the actual demand that you're anticipating. You have things like auto scaling groups and the ability to scale up elastically and also scale in as well. These will help you greatly in optimizing your spend. And the third thing for cost optimization is you need to build cost optimized cloud architectures. Sure, you could spin up EC2 for everything and those servers could run all the time, but where you really gain cost efficiencies is when you start looking at cloud native solutions such as serverless applications and containers. Serverless is based on event driven computing and those costs only accumulate when a certain event triggers a function that returns some sort of result. Containers allow you to pack more compute on a given set of infrastructure so you have a higher utilization of your compute versus just spinning up a server in a one-to-one -one ratio per microservice. The second trend you need to know about that your customers will definitely be talking to you about is cloud migration. Now, there are lift and shift migrations. This will get you out of your wherever you are now into AWS very quickly. And you can just take the footprint of what you have and plop it into AWS. The other thing I wanna to talk to you about are data center migrations. This is migrating your entire data center from wherever it is on premises into AWS, the whole thing. And then the third thing to think about is cloud to AWS cloud migration. I've migrated several customers from other clouds into AWS clouds. And cloud migration is definitely gonna be a hot topic in 2023. Now, if you're enjoying the video, I need you to go ahead and hit that like button and hit the subscribe because I make new content every week and you wanna make sure you don't miss any of it. The third trend is data and analytics. If you are walking into 2023 and you don't have a data and analytics strategy, you're gonna be in bad shape. So in 2023, I really want you to focus on from a data and analytics perspective. First thing I want you to do is to develop a data strategy, okay? Come up with the data strategy to figure out how you're gonna ingest data, how you're gonna secure it, how you're gonna govern it, how you're gonna democratize the data, how you're gonna disseminate it to the various people within your organization. Which leads to my second point. The way you do that is after you come up with your data strategy, is you're gonna to need to build a data lake. This is where all your data is housed, how you ingest it, secure it, you have the raw zone, how the data comes in naturally, you have the curated zone, which is the data when it's run through its extract, transform, and load process. And then to my third point, once you have that data lake, now you have the ability to gain business insights 
on all your data. Your data and analytics trend is going to be crucial to you and your business in 2023. And if you're a solution architect or have the role of being a trusted advisor to help explain this to your customers, you're going to have to understand this stuff backwards and forwards. Trend number four, artificial intelligence and machine learning. Now notice how I put this after your data and analytics strategy, because guess what? Without a solid data and analytics strategy, you're not ready for AI and ML because AI and ML requires lots of good, clean data to train those models. So when we're talking about AI and ML, the first thing you need to determine is what business problems can AI and ML solve? It's not just a matter of AI and ML is very cool. Let's just go do something with some AI and ML. Think about the business problems that you need to solve first and map that to where AI and ML can help you. The second point under AI and ML is you need to set up an ML ops pipeline that's build, train, deploy, and host your models where it makes sense. And the third area of focus for AI and ML is to figure out how you can power business insights with AI. Now, AI differs a little bit from ML because with machine learning, you're responsible for building, training, and deploying those models. With AI, you can consume AI services, which your cloud provider has already trained on their data set, and then they give you an API where you can send your data and then an inference can be made, and you can bake that into your applications. And the last trend I wanna talk about and this is one of the most slept on trends that you definitely need to know about, fully managed services. This is where you're gonna have a real honest conversation and determine where can we buy versus build, or in the case of cloud services, consume a service versus trying to build your own service from scratch. You don't wanna be in the business of reinventing the wheel. Your cloud provider offers you many fully managed services and as a result, baked in high availability and fault tolerance. And all you have to do is focus on innovation. Consuming fully managed services in 2023 is both going to accelerate and grow your business. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and subscribe right now because you don't want to miss any of my future videos. And before I forget, make sure you check out this video right here. Pretty sure you'll like this one as well.